Welcome back. This is M Dog. This is another leveling guide video, 2021, 2022, and we are gonna stick it out at Old Berg. So uh, I quickly realized from checking out the comments after my last leveling guide video that we weren't at the right clip over here where we were fishing for Bream. Sounds like people are fishing at 18. So that the poster I saw talking about fishing at 28 meters. Now, maybe he was catching really good bream at 28 meters, but for us, obviously it didn't work. We caught a lot of small bream. I mean, that's the thing, the bream were there. It just, you know, overall was really bad with how many. So I will try it one more time. I did get uh, a little bit a little bit larger hook size four hook so now we'll go what is it four we'll have four eight ten on which is a pretty good spread of hooks for bream um and we'll try in the other spot so i mean we've got a whole day of fishing though before it's bream time again so right now i'm trying this little spot here sometimes this little spot can be sneaky good for all kinds of things including eel uh, which is obviously not what we're going for. I've got an array of baits, some kind of like, probably, I think I've got roach ground bait on. And we're just seeing what, if anything, will bite right now. So we're using pearl barley, peas, which we need to switch this out. I can tell already is too slow. And worms. We probably ought to just switch the peas to bread, you know, just see if we can get some. Um, so just trying to like make, build up some random fish. If this doesn't pick up, we'll go down to the bridge and then we'll just re-log when it's time to go fish for bream and come back to the start. Because that is a pretty big hike down there, but from here we probably just go straight south or to this bridge, walk down. Yeah. But let's see if we catch a couple more decent fish here before we make that move. All right, so at least on on pearl barley, we've gotten a decent crucian and now a decent gibble. So, I mean, that's kind of what I want to do is just, you know, those kind of fish just kind of grind it out during the day right now. Uh, and I was trying this spot mostly just because, you know, obviously it's close. Now, now worm, several of these baits actually can occasionally catch a common carp. So, oh, look, it looks like there's some tench here right now, which is fine and a little exciting. We could throw out some cheese and hope not to hit a grass carp. That's, that's crazy, but we could do that. Wait, is there a fish on? Oh, there's just been a fish sitting here, y'all. And that's what you expect to catch on peas. So I'm glad that it worked. Do we want to try cheese for a second? I do have a couple pieces of cheese. All right, so cheese is often a really good bait for tench, but the problem is it'll catch carp as well, so we could get in real trouble. Oh, this is interesting that the common roach are showing up. I like that, that's what we want. We want a good spot for roach, crucian, and gibbles. If tench is here, then that's even better. Just nibbling. I wanted to go check the cafe. Um, seemed like there was some pretty random cafe orders, like maybe a crucian order, maybe even a tench order. So let's just, so we have an idea. Okay, 2.3 tench. I mean, I guess it's possible. Um, yeah, definitely the crucian one. Either one of them, it may be possible if we go on a run of Crucian. So that's that's good. At least we've got something that's possible. We would be a lot safer doing this down in the pond, though. I mean, if we if we happen to hit a carp or a grass carp or something right here, we're just toast. You know, there's no two ways about it. Ah, 
I like the size fish that we're catching here right now, though. They're like all markers. I guess we are using pretty large hooks. We could certainly increase the bite rate if we went a little bit smaller hooks, but I'm kind of liking this. Why is this middle rod not showing bites? Is it because I'm throwing it like right at my feet? All right, we'll try this one more time. We'll try cheese one more time, then we'll switch back to something less scary. All right, worm has taken a taking a minute now oh and I don't have ground bait on the third one ground baits on the first two but not the third one uh, I think we have some more some more pearl barley that we can make right yeah and we're at 31.4 We've gotten zero points off this pearl barley. Time to move to the next ingredient, which is fine. I really just wanted to make some more pearl barley to have it. So let's make some more sweet dough, a couple of wheat grain, and then we'll just focus in on semolina when we can afford more ingredients. I'm gonna try bread, see if it's a little better than worms, maybe. Bite rate wise. And then cheese seems to be slower than pearl barley. So we should probably go, we'll see what bread seems like. We should probably go to pearl barley on two. There is no roach order though. So if we're gonna hit bream at night, we're probably not getting any of the other orders unless we get a really lucky tench. Although a tench that size for the cafe order would, would, would be scary, at least for a minute, three minutes. I would be afraid that it was a grass carp or something. Here's a bite on cheese. So we'll see what this is and we'll probably switch. It just took too long, right? Ooh, I like it. gonna be a little roach all right which means I'm gonna go you know we could try like oatmeal or sweet dough let's try sweet dough just for fun you never know I like that big old roach on bread 
do it again, Sam. Gibble. All right, so bread did pretty good there on the first, on the first one. Pearl barley still doing really well. Oh, pretty quick bite on sweet dough. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I like it. Sweet dough for tinch. I like it. I don't have any ground bait stuff, right? Bloodworm and crackers. Let's just grab one of each. Wait. I have to sell fish to do that. I don't know. We could just use some other random ground bait. We've definitely got to spend some silver leveling up ground bait. I'm just not quite ready to do that. So I might just switch to some other random ground bait, to be honest. All right, let's go through some comments here. Uh, Fozzie says, I enjoyed the music last time. Thanks, Fozzie. You're the only one. <laughs> Just kidding. I think there was, I think it was like a, I don't know, 60-40 split. I won't tell you who was the 60. Um... Elias says, I just looked up your channel for the last video and saw this pop up 13 seconds ago. So yesterday when we um, when we posted one of the videos, well, uh, greetings from Germany. Thanks, Elias. Greetings to you over there in Germany. I hope you are well. All right, so we'll use up some of this like rough, fake rough mix because it looks pretty similar to roach mix. It's a little different than roach, but it's pretty similar. Uh-oh. Okay, I was afraid we picked it up too soon. We're good. This has ended up being a lot of fun, fishing in this little spot, waiting for bream time. I'm actually enjoying this. Uh, all right, what else did we miss here? Uh, Georgie Stanio says, hi, I am a new subscriber. You're so cool on this game. Respect. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much. And seriously, everyone, thank you for your support. Like I've said before, uh, here recently, the amount of support and stuff lately has just been tremendous. I really, I am feeling the love and I, I very much appreciate it. So thank you so much. All right, Cheetah says you should use large four to large one hooks for bream. Cheetah. You know what they used to call me in this game? This nickname is so old that they don't even use it anymore. That's how long I've been playing this game. They used to call me the Breaminator. Talking about boring, when I used to stream this game like in the early days, even when I was getting up to higher levels and stuff, I still just wanted to come fish for bream. That's all I did. Fish for bream. Fish for bream. Just loved it. Trophy. Trophy. Bream. I was just dialed in on bream. Now, it is possible, maybe even likely, 
that the way that Bream respond to hook sizes at this point in the game is different. That at some point there was a change. We know that one change that was made was that the size of Bream has gotten smaller. But not here at Old Berg, because this completely, this completely <laughs> goes against my point. I guess it's Volkov. The size of Bream at Volkov have gotten smaller. Is that, is this right? All of the absolute record size Bream have been caught. Oh, they're changing it per year now. There was just a reset. My mind was so confused. I was like, there is no way all the absolute records are 2022. This is totally wrong. I refuse to accept this result. They're, they're doing annual changes. I mean, every year they're going to reset the, the records now. Gotcha. Okay, anyway, um, it is possible that the way Bream respond to hook size is different now. Uh, and, and I will admit on my main account, if I'm going for a Bream trophy these days, I will often try large one hooks. So I, I, I am doing that more now too. I, I just want to point out though, that in the history of this game, so many Bream trophies have been caught on size eight, even size 10 hooks. I mean, for a long time, the meta was to get Bream trophies use size 8 hooks. Now, again, things could have changed. Like, things could have changed dramatically. But if you're matching the size of the hook to the bait and to the fish, large one hooks is a little overdoing it. Now, your idea of fours are interesting. And for, for I would say that the since the early days of this game and this has been pretty steady four has kind of been the agreed upon size to try to catch as large of a tinch as possible for a lot of players i don't want to speak for everyone i mean i'm just saying for a lot of folks so and and there was a transition period there was a time where it's like we started going to size sixes for bream some right and we were doing fours for Tinch. And then maybe some people would do fours or even large one for Bream. But I'm just saying the majority... I can't say that because I don't have any like scientific evidence to back it up. But a lot of Trophy Bream were caught on size 8 hooks. Now, that being said... <laughs> after that miserable Bream experience we had last episode... I did get a large 4 hook. So I am... I am saying that you you very well may be right. Uh, at this point, it may be that it's just a little better to use uh, a little larger hook. And I suppose, like, try to stay away from the smaller bream, even if it hurts your bite rate a little bit. I don't know that that's always the thing to do when you're leveling. And you really just need to catch a high volume of fish. You know, you're not really just trying to sit on a trophy. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. But thank you for your comment. And again, you may be right. Now, here's an interesting comment. Markinho19 says, I just caught a blue tag eyed at 64.94. How did I just pick up the wrong, wrong rod there? And so, by the way, this comment, I'm reading through all the comments that I've gotten lately. So some of these are actually on my high level, like spot check videos that I've done on Amber and stuff lately. Um, but I just want to say grats to Mark and Ho. And that's awesome. I, any fish that's caught at 6494 already gets a little bit of a bonus in my book because that spot is such a cool old spot to fish at Amber. Uh, will always be the first spot that I fished at Amber. No one can ever take that away from me. And the first spot that you just got awesome carp and other i mean barbel obviously eyed I mean, there's a lot of cool fish that have been caught off of that peg at 64.94 so grats to you mark and ho uh liger lager kook says 
Wait, you aren't using a 16 meter clip? Uh oh, here we go. That's where all the hot, hot breamies hang out. Yeah, I, I should have thought of that. I should have tried going. I mean, I knew that was a long clip for that spot. But there was someone on VK that posted that clip with trophy bream. So, and we did catch a lot of bream there. I am hoping, though, that we'll have better success. bringing it in to a 16 meter clip we'll see all right we're going to put these back in the line back in the water for a second here and we're going to um run up i just want to make sure again at the cafe by the way i think sweet dough's done pretty good here sweet dough has been a decent option i've been talking so i could have been distracted but it feels like sweet dough, pearl barley, and bread have been like really nice, consistent fish at this spot. And the truth is, I will not be surprised if we make more silver from this spot during the day than we will for bream at night. We'll, um, we'll see. But I'm just saying, we don't have garlic dough yet. Garlic dough is clearly the bait that the bream want right now at Old Berg. At least it seems that way to me. So let's check this out. Make sure we don't have any... Uh, Sneaky orders. Yeah, we, we ended up catching more gibbles than um, more gibbles than than crucians, unfortunately. All right, so let's see. So none of those are going to be towards an order. So we can go ahead and sell all the fish. So thirty nine silver. I like it. How much fake bream mix do we have? 37. And what have we been using in it? Maggots, millet, wait. Sunflower, porridge, maggots, sunflower oil. Wait, I didn't say that right. Um, all right, crackers. Uh, maggots. Millet porridge. And let's just make sure we have at least two things of sunflower oil. We do. All right, we're trying not to buy much right now because we want to level up our ground bait. No, our harvesting baits to 35 so we can make garlic dough. And then we want to level up our ground bait, and then we want to save for quarry. I mean, that that's really the order in which we're approaching this, right? Wow. This has been a good spot, guys. This has been a good spot for the daytime here at Old Berg. Now, I can't guarantee you aren't going to get busted. It's one of those spots where as soon as a grass carp or a um you know common carp hits you it's kind of like game over but is this the right spot it's like is it 2654 i think it is but we are going to try 16 16 clip All right, so let's see here. We wanna go size four hook pearl barley and we wanna use fake bream mix. And we wanna cast right about here. And then on this one, we wanna use eight pearl barley, fake bream, 16. And I'm sure we'll spread it out. I'm gonna try to aim, yeah, kind of like right at the tip there. That one almost went 16. And then this little guy. Fake bream. 10 pearl barley. 16. And we'll definitely like aim a little farther right on this one. So if any of them are a little farther right, it'll be this one. I 
And now we'll see, right? Now all that's left is to see. All right, first fish in. So we started early because I want to get a good feel of what this bream spot is really like on pearl barley. So don't be surprised if we start off catching some really small guys, but hopefully this time it will in fact get better. All right, continuing with the comments. I think we still have one or two more. Um, thank you, Cadaver, about the, about the Bream Spot information. So Fabio says, hello again, M-Dog. Uh, so if you remember, I believe Fabio is one of the folks that gave us a lot of info on Belaya before. So I think that's what Fabio is going to responding to. I used the initial spinning setup with 350 meters of braided line, fluorocarbon leader, three kilo with spiker 217. That is awesome. So the difference there is so much more spool on the line than what we experienced. So great idea. That's an affordable way to go hit up Belaya. And we'll try to in incorporate that into the leveling series because I wouldn't mind breaking up the bream and everything with some more time at Belaya. But I think having that bigger line would be totally worth it. Uh, I'll keep reading the comment in a second here. Oh, there we go. I think we're on to a marker here. All right, this is promising. It's still early and we got our first marker. We'll see. Again, throw in that, cast in that one a little light. I probably need to put a little heavier cages on these lines so we can cast a little easier, but. Okay, I was bouncing around Belaya fishing till some big fish ruined my spinning gear. Then I went to this exact bream spot in Old Berg with garlic dough, clip 18, hook one, got the trophy bream there two days ago. Stayed like that till I got the money for trolling gear at Cory. Now I'm level 21 trying to figure out what's the next step. Haha, <laughs> thinking about getting heavier feeder setups for burbot or carp or a heavier spinning tackle for Volkov, but neither seems to be fun or active at the moment. Oh, don't worry. It'll change. It'll change. Um, but that does sound like a good plan. I, honestly, and that's something we'll maybe talk about more if I get to that point on this leveling series. Once you're trolling Corey, do you get burbot stuff or do you just try to focus as much as you can on saving for the caliber HSV and something you can fish for carp, initial carp stuff, which obviously you could also use that for burbot, but it does mean saving for a little bit longer. So again, we'll, we'll circle back around to that hopefully in future episodes, but thanks for that report, Fabio. That's really uh, really good. It sounds like you've had a really uh, fairly smooth experience leveling. So MP Calvin says, might be worth trying Aero S66 rod, 6 to 20 gram test for 190 silver, 4.7 kilo strength. Otherwise, best bet is spinning light pro setup. Yeah, I see what he's talking about there. So on that medium arrow, the test starts at six, which is at least closer to the size of the spinner baits. So, you know, it makes you feel like maybe you could cast them far enough, but I'd almost want to test that on my main account before doing it on this account because that much silver is so precious at this level. But yeah, no, that's good, good thoughts. I, I see where you're going there and I appreciate the, uh, the comment as always. And obviously the, the uh, spinning light pro kit is a no brainer. If you want to put 800 silver towards that, that is definitely a way to get into some good Belaya fishing. Absolutely. Uh, Did I already say Cadaver said Clip 16 gave me almost 40 bream over one kilo. Think you were just casting too far?
Okay, yeah, no, so two different people have now said that. Yeah, cool, cool, thank you for the info. And yeah, we're trying that now, actually. Looks like he just put that comment in while we've been fishing. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to do something weird here. I'm going to put sweet dough on for a second. Don't mind me, but I'm going to put the sweet dough on. Does anybody know what sweet dough at least has a chance of catching if they're active here? Does anybody know? The hook size is a little big. I'll give you a hint. But we're still going to try it, see if anything bites. Okay, let's see what we caught on sweet dough. Not what I was, not what I was targeting. I'll tell you that. All right, the answer was white bream. The small bream can sometimes come on sweet dough, but we just caught a regular bream. So because of that, I'm gonna leave sweet dough in a little longer. Okay, so this might be our first bream over a kilo, right? First one, first kilo, one kilo plus bream ever caught on this account. Is that true? First one ever caught on this account. Did we not have any at Mosquito? I'm not even sure, but hey, there we go. We must be fishing in the right spot now. And by the way, that's, that's the real deal bream there, right? I can't remember if that's big enough for the order. We need three over something size. Might be more than that. Two something, I think, but. Now, if the um, if we end up getting like killer size bream on If we end up getting, oh man, my son is sending me like amazing pictures of board games in some store he's at right now. Um, if we end up getting r much better bream on the pearl barley, we will switch back to pearl barley on that third line. I'm just kind of curious what sweet dough might do here. And again, we're just now getting into bream time. In fact, you could still argue we're a little early we all caught us a uh, uh, caught us a nice one.
I just feel like we've got a fish on, but maybe everything's still nibbling. Something is on. Oh, there we go. It's just small. A little chub. can't tell okay all right let's see what this is we've had just all we've caught is bream on the sweet dough and at the end of the day oh this is a roach at the end of the day i'm just thinking pearl barley might be a little better but we'll go sweet dough one more time i'm liking sweet dough like even for the crucian gibble stuff so we definitely want to make some more sweet dough we only have like 19 left i think I will say the, the bite rate on sweet dough seems really good. I mean, just as good as, as pearl barley. I just don't know if the, if the same size is, is going to be on both. It's a slightly marker, I think. Nope. Close though. Seems really cool. What's our goal here? Six over one kilo. That's our goal, right? Six over one kilo. And so far, only one. So we've got some work to do, obviously. All right, let's hope this is our white bream. If it's not, I think we switch. Is it a row? Oh, it's a gibble. It's kind of all over the place on the sweet dough, which is fine. It's probably worth having out there since we are um, not able to use garlic dough anyway. But I'm going to switch back to sweet dough. Let's just give this a, a real full chance here.
This is uh, this is one advantage. If you're trying to figure out like what's the advantage of picker rods, well, by the way, the advantage is not worth at this level the amount you would spend just to get some picker rods. But one of the advantages would be you just see some of these sensitive small fish bites a little more clearly than you do on feeders. But again, not worth it. Ooh, okay, okay. T talk to me. Tell me about it. It's a big boy bream here. I think we just hit our second one over a kilo. He is still wanting to fight us. I think we can just lead him right in though. Yes, almost the identical size to the last one. Really. All right, I'm no longer sure that we're gonna make more on the random stuff we were catching during the day compared to bream at night. We're off to a pretty banging start with two of them over two kilos. Now, one thing I'm just remembering, you know, I talked in the last couple episodes about how fast we've been leveling bait harvesting by digging. Well, haven't we still been in that period where even free to play players are getting some sort of happy hour? Because if we're doing it during happy hour, then yeah, we're going to level faster than you normally would. And that may be what's happening. I think that event only goes through the 11th. Same with the Christmas fair. So if there's anything you're wanting to buy at the Christmas fair, given that it's the 10th right now as I'm recording this, get to it. Get to it. So we've only got two over a kilo, right? We probably need to get another sort size four hook. It does look like the best bream we're catching so far has been on this size four hook.
So how are we doing overall here? Got 33 silver, 34 silver early, earlier. Going to probably at least do that again. We're doing okay. Doing okay, I guess. Getting that middle of the night lull here. Should pick back up, hopefully. By the way, go dogs. Uh, by the time this video gets posted, the college football national championship may be over. I really hope Georgia won, although I am kind of dreading the game just because... Alabama just seems to have Georgia's number, so <clears throat> it could be painful tonight. I got to work tonight, but I'm starting work a little later, so I'll be able to watch at least most of the game before I start work. Let me check and see if that was actually done correctly on for my work thing. Bites are starting to pick back up a little bit. I still just really think that this spot would be a lot better with garlic dough and probably like for real uh, bream ground bait. It does seem to be a little better here at this clip compared to what we were yesterday. We've had the two jumbos come in, but still overall way too slow to make it uh, ideal.
been rough. Are the roaches showing back up? They are. So let's go back to sweet dough. Alright, be a chunky monkey. Nope. Which means we are at risk of getting way close. Well, so I don't remember. The truth is, neither one of these might be big enough. I just don't remember what the size thing is on that cafe order. We'll find out in a second. But if they are big enough, then... We're going to be one short, it looks like. We'll, we'll, we'll wait a couple more minutes, see if something doesn't come in here, but... There we go. Does anything fun happen at 40% uh, bottom fishing? Oh, picker rod. That's funny. It's kind of brutal. I mean, I'm glad we tried it again because we got a couple of nice ones and that was fun. But I definitely want to, I think whatever we do next, unless we're trying a different spot, I think whatever we do next, we just focus on making some silver and getting garlic dough leveled up. I think that's what's going to make the most sense. Oh, finally one right at a kilo. It's like we couldn't catch this size for some reason. Some nice eels coming in, by the way. Oh, excuse me.
At one point, like right around here was an incredible place to catch white bream trophies using float. Just like right here off the off the bank or somewhere around here. But it really helped to have sandwich bait unlocked. Uh, let's see. Let's see what where they're being caught right now. At least what map. I wonder if some of these are just random catches from people that were still doing that trophy event. I mean, the uh, present event at Mosquito. All right, by the way, we're going to go ahead and pull in our lines. I don't think anything exciting is going to happen at this point in the morning. And we got a full day of fishing in in this episode. Let's go see if we have something to cry about with the cafe order or if we were never going to get there anyway because the order required a little bigger. And see what those bream are worth. Bleep. Yeah, it's 2.6. We weren't there anyway. We just weren't there anyway. All right. Seven, almost eight silver of fish. And see, it doesn't go down that much. If you can get one kilo bream or better, you're sitting pretty good. It adds up really quick. I mean, that's why bream fishing is so good, but when you're not hitting, I don't know, you at least want to get, on a low, lower level account, I'd say you at least want to get 10 to 12 one kilo bream a night. Once you've got the right bait, which right now it seems like it would be garlic dough, and once you've got the ground bait, if you're not getting that many, then there's probably something better you could be doing. But even with this, only having three over a kilo and some other random stuff, we're still making decent silver. I mean, Bream can be really good at this level. Um, you know, just need to do a little better than we did this time. Okay. What are we doing next time? I have no idea, but we'll figure it out. As always, thanks for watching. Tight lines, everybody.